Hi, I am Katarina from Art is Crazy, and today I will be showing you how to make the Rainbow Loom Cupcake Charm. This was invented by a girl on Loom Love, and I want to very, very thank you for making this cupcake charm and teaching me how to do it. Um, but I'm going to show you guys today how to make the cupcake charm if you're not from Loom Love. Okay. If you are from Luma and you get how to do it, you can watch this video. Um, you will need a red or something rubber band. I'm just going to use white. And if you're using a red, you want to slip a red rainbow, I mean a red bead on there so it's a cherry. But I'm not going to do it. If you're not going to do it, or if you already did, you take it and you put it on these two middle pegs. And then, for the rest, you're going to be taking double. I'll take double, and you go from the second center peg to the third peg on the left. And the second center peg right above to the fourth center peg. And the, I mean, to the third center peg. And the third center peg to the... I mean, to the, the second center peg to the third peg on the right. So it should look like this. If you're confused, we did one here. Then we went out to this one. Then we went straight. Then we went up to this one. Now you're just going to go up with two rubber bands. Go up one time on each row. So, if you're confused, you go one, 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 but you're using double rubber bands for all of them. Then you'll need to take two more. And you'll need to go from the fourth peg on the left to the fourth peg in the middle, then the fourth peg in the middle to the fourth peg on the left, on the right. So if I said this is left, middle, right. Um, so you go from the left, the middle, middle to right. Okay. Now you'll need to get to brown or so we just made the top of it right here. Now we're making the bottom. I'm using brown. You'll need to take double and go right on top of your white bands right here or whatever color you use. Same way you did last time. And then you'll need to go like up one from those three pegs. So make sure you're pushing down. Like that. Then you'll need to do the From the fifth peg on the left to the fifth peg in the middle. The fifth peg, the fifth peg in the middle to the fifth peg on the right. And then in the fifth peg on the middle, you need to make a capping band with one single. How you do that is you twist it into a figure eight. And you put it back upon itself. And put it on that. Now turn your loom around so the arrows are pointing towards you. And do make sure that your loom is even when you're doing this. Now we need to take our hook. 
and you'll need to go underneath that capping band. Get the two rubber bands that you see, and they should be going to the left of your loom when you're facing it. But if when the air is pointing away from you, it should be going to the right. When the air is pointing to you, it should be going to the left. Go under there again. Get those second two and go to the other side and then you're going to get the middle one and that should just be going up that's all we looped now go underneath the right get those two and they should be going forward and then Go up to the left, get that, so we loop that, now you need to go underneath the middle and get those, you're going to go underneath all the brown, going to get the two white color bands or ice cream frosting color bands, put them to where they go. Make sure you got both. And go underneath that again. All of it. Get those next two frosting colors. Put them on there. And then. Go underneath. Get those last frosting color bands. And they should be going forward. Then you just go underneath and get. You just go straight up underneath all, underneath the left and the right. And then, you're going, you're going to go underneath the left, get that, put it to the second center peg, go underneath the right, get those two rubber bands, put it to the second Center peg, then do the forward one. Then you're going to go underneath there. Get that rubber band. Make a knot. And knot that. Just let it go. And then you're can take off. I would help your cupcake off with your hook, but it's your cupcake charm, so I'm just saying if I were you, I would, but you do not have to follow my instructions on taking it off. Notice on one, you should have two brown rubber bands hanging off. And on the other side, you shouldn't. There is your well, cupcake charm. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And if you just found this online, if you did not go to cat mom 74 then please go on to it and you will see a bunch of videos um and my friend riley do a donut charm who is also from art is crazy thank you so much for watching and bye thanks for watching i hope you enjoy your cupcake charms or charm